this week's vlog, we are going eventing with these two. It's my first time eventing two horses in a day. Um, oh, hang on, let me clear the camera. Yeah, first time eventing two horses in a day. But luckily, we have about half an hour between each one in each face. So plenty of time. We've got Michael coming with us for a bit. Then he's going off racing, and then we have Michael's mum helping as well. So yeah, I'm going to get them plodded up and get going. It's about, I don't know, quarter past six, half past six. And we were at a wedding yesterday, so we won't be getting much from Michael for a few hours. He's up there. Pony number one plotted. Oh, I can't really see you in the way. Um, he did have his massage pad on, or my massage pad on. Now I'm going to go and do Simon. You're a good boy, aren't you? We are off. Great timing. Uh, <laughs> um, Michael and I, <laughs> Michael and I, are leaving in the car so that I can go and walk the course, and then the ponies will follow because we need two different vehicles. Because Michael's going off to go racing later and abandoning me cross country. Um, so yeah, we're all packed. Ponies are plaited and ready to go so see you when we get there we've just arrived this is number one we are walking the course obviously if you haven't guessed that by now um got to walk it quite quickly because i want to be tacking up in about half an hour i don't know how long it is so we shall see we've walked the course it's all looking good the boys have jumped most of the 90 already anyway so they should fly around the 80. We've actually only entered the 80. More to do with show jumping than cross country. They haven't had that much practice at show jumping and doubles and related distances and things. So I thought we'd stick to the 80 for them to make it a bit easier. I need to get changed. The horses should be here in about 10 minutes. And then we'll tack up Merino, who I think's first, and then get on. I'm pretty much ready to go. Ponies have arrived. One thing I've noticed. Oh, an extra How lovely. One thing I've noticed. Where's the dressage? Michael, where's the dressage? Whoa. Apparently it's behind this hitch. Last time it was just like the end of the strip. Um, that's interesting. Anyway, let's get Marino tucked up and my hat and jacket on. So it's very nice having two people here to do my pony for me. I'm very, very spoilt. Um, just going to put my hat and jacket on and then get on. I might put the massage pad on Simon because he's looking a bit upset at the thought of being left on his own. Um, and we didn't really leave him on his own last time, so we haven't tested it out.
Marino done. I was quite pleased with his test. He was a little bit nappy towards the warm up, but apart from that, he was a really good boy. And actually, for his second ever test and our first test together, I was really pleased with him. I haven't watched it back yet though, so my voiceover might have said definitely <laughs> over the test. But yeah, very pleased with him. I'll do a big update later, probably at the end of the day. Good now, I'll do something.
dressage number two done. What a disaster. Turns out Simon had oats for breakfast. Um, as you can probably tell. Oh no, I don't want to bring cook two of these out. Um, yeah, so he was very naughty. I think technically we would have been eliminated. Let me take this off because it's not working. Yeah, technically we probably should have been eliminated because we did leave the arena and nearly run over the judge's car. That was bad. Um, there we go. Let's see there. Um, so that wasn't good. But he did do a few really, really nice bits. Um, and the bits that he did, I was very proud of. But I need to think about maybe having his back looked at and his teeth as well as no more oats. <laughs> um, yes, so that's the plan. Now I'm going to go back onto Marino for show jumping. Do that if necessary, and just trot it.
So there was about an eight minute end to the vlog and I also filmed Michael racing because I managed to go and watch it with him. But I'm having a nightmare editing this video and my laptop keeps crashing and it doesn't want to download the eight minute long outro. So I'm gonna do a new one and it's gonna be short and sweet um, because this vlog was meant to go out two days ago and it still hasn't gone out. And if I don't get it out tonight, I'm just gonna be really annoyed. So, Simon's test was obviously atrocious, um, but we did find out that he has been given oats that last week, so that won't have helped him at all. And we also think that maybe there might be something up with his teeth or his mouth in some way, because he was very cross. Um very very cross when i put any contact on the bit so we're going to investigate that a little bit further maybe play around with different bits and bridles um, and see if we can fix it like that or if there is actually something wrong in his mouth but he was a very good boy show jumping he just had the one pole i'm speaking really quickly because i'm conscious that i don't want it to be a long one like it was on the last one um so yeah, he just had the one pole he technically knocked two down but because it wasn't the top pole um, it didn't count, which I did go and speak to them about and they were like, yeah, you're right. If it's not the top pole, it doesn't count. So that was really good that I managed to get that. So he just knocked the one and he was quite a good boy. He, as long as we were moving forward, he was fine. That's the only reason he had a pole is because he just wasn't paying attention. And then we were basically ground to a halt when we got to the jump and I, he jumped it. So he was very honest, but he did knock it down. So I was very pleased with him for that. And then he flew around the cross country. He actually got time because again, he was still fighting with his head a little bit and we don't have studs and the ground was rock solid in places. So I just wanted to go a bit steady so that we didn't slide across the, the ground, um, which we had done once. So I took it a bit steady. We only got like two time faults, but yeah, he was very good cross country. Didn't even look at anything. So I was very pleased with him for that. And then Marino was just a superstar all day. He got a 32 point something dressage, double clear, inside the time. Was such a good boy show jumping, such a good boy cross country. He was really maturing, so I was really, really proud of him. And he flew around 
and he was whinnying on his way around the cross-country course, especially after anything that he jumped that he thought was a bit scary, which was very cute, but very, very pleased with both of them actually. And they ended up coming second and fifth. So obviously Marina was the second and Simon was fifth, even though he got something like a 54 dressage. But that's how much carnage the show jumping was causing actually, rather than cross country. But yeah, very pleased with the boys. Hopefully this is a short and sweet outro and you will get the vlog tonight. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.